Hi everybody, this is Mr. Matt from the Packer Branch, the Montgomery City County Public Library System, and it is storybook time. Are you weird? Has anyone ever told you that you're weird? One of my nieces once said to me, Uncle Matt, you're weird. You know what I said back to that? I said, thank you, because I enjoy being weird. I'm a little bit different, and there's nothing wrong with that, and you might be a little bit weird or different too. And sometimes it's, also, it's always great to be a little bit different and weird, unlike other people. But sometimes it's lonely if you're the only person like that. And that's sort of the problem of our character in today's book. And her name is Sweetie. And Sweetie is a naked mole rat, but she is a naked mole rat that wears clothes. And she is a bit weird. And she just needs to find some friends who might be just like her. And this book by Andrea Zuhl, and it is published by Schwartz and Wade Books. And this is Sweetie. Let's see if she can find some friends who are just as cool and different as her. Sweetie was awkward, even for a naked mole rat. And there's a note here that says, please note that naked mole rats are born without fur, but not without the love of clothes. The illustrator is grateful for this since she didn't have to draw a bunch of highly embarrassing pictures. So these naked mole rats all wear clothes. Her own grandmother called her a little square peg. Sweetie, didn't exactly know what that meant. And sure enough, her grandmother's saying, Well, aren't you Grandma's little square peg? And Sweetie doesn't know what to think. But she did know that she didn't always fit in. Sweetie could be intense. One day when the kids were sharing their dolls, this girl said, My doll's name is Ellie. She likes cupcakes. And this boy said, My doll is David. My grandma gave him to me. And this girl said, This is Sunshine. She wants to be a doctor. Who's your doll, sweetie? And sweetie said, this is warrior Princess Zorna, friend of the friendless, destroyer of evil, lover of chocolate beet cake with cream cheese frosting. Her favorite color is aubergine, and my mom made her for me. Was that a little intense? Yeah, I think so. But I like her passion. She loves her doll. And people found her hobbies a bit bizarre. Sweetie said, Would you like to come over to my house and help me identify fungi? And this boy said, No, thank you. Occasionally, Sweetie did things that others had a hard time comprehending. Like the day she gave her book report through interpretive dance. And this little girl said, what book is this? There were times when Sweetie wondered what it would be like to be someone else. Someone like Deb. Deb always said the right thing and had stylish friends. Best of all, she had beautiful hair. Or at least one hair. <laughs> Sweetie wanted hair like Deb's. She thought maybe she should try a wig. Maybe a blonde wig with pigtails, or a black wig with bangs, or a red wig with curls, or a big brown beehive wig. Do you like any of those? Yeah, I don't know if they really work for her. <laughs> she said... Feels itchy. 
But then there were times when Sweetie just felt like being Sweetie. So she would go into her room, and what's she doing? Yeah, she's reading on her bed. You can see her posters of fungi and her mushroom lamp. The best days were when Aunt Ruth visited. Aunt Ruth understood Sweetie perfectly. She didn't think Sweetie's hobbies were weird. Really. Not a single one. Not identifying fungi or doing interpretive dance. Sweetie and her aunt loved going through old family photo albums. Sweetie especially liked the pictures of her mom and her aunt when they were her age. So you can see that there's her aunt and her mom when they were one month old. And then mom and aunt when they were two sassy cowgirls. And then them at age eight. And then them at age 17. They're kind of punk. On her most recent visit, Aunt Ruth talked about how she was called a square peg when she was young. Sweetie was starting to understand what that meant. Do you maybe understand what that means? You might want to ask your grown-up what that means. Because I think what it kind of means is there's a saying that you're a square peg trying to fit into a round hole. And it's just another way of saying that you're different. Aunt Ruth said that being different was one of the best things about her life, and that if you stayed true to yourself, you'd find your people. And that made Sweetie think. Were there really people out there for her? How would they recognize her? How would she recognize them? Was there a secret handshake she'd have to learn? She really hoped there was a secret handshake. Sweetie wondered how many times she'd been close to one of her people and not known it. Do you think any of these people might be Sweetie's people? I think there might be. What if she stepped it up a notch? Would her people be able to spot her more easily? What if she got a bullhorn and said, My name is Sweetie. I like dancing, mushrooms, and rainy days. You too? Need to find your people? Maybe we're a match. Flyers are available. Or maybe she could get a wagon and have parade with pictures of interpretive dance and mushrooms and a little doll of herself. And maybe she could even dress up as a mushroom and dance with sparklers. Or would she just seem desperate? For now, she trusts Aunt Ruth, can continue to do her favorite things, and be herself. And maybe she try a couple of new hobbies just for fun like knitting and cake decorating. And this little guy says, whoa! And the instructor said, very nice, sweetie. After all, being sweetie wasn't so bad. And she looked at the mushrooms, said, sigh, they're beautiful. In fact, it could be pretty awesome. And she saw this little creature and said, Well, aren't you a fuzzy little caterpillar? And who knew when someone else pretty awesome might come along? Like this guy. He said, Oh my gosh, isn't that the cutest little caterpillar? 
My name is Sandy. Your shirt is wonderful. I wouldn't mind having a shirt with a mushroom on it. I love mushrooms. My favorite is Gyrometra escalenta. It looks like a brain. Do you think Sandy might be one of Sweetie's people? I think he might. Sweetie said, Hi, Sandy. My name's Sweetie. Would you like to learn a secret handshake? And Sandy said, Yes! Thank you! And that's the end of Sweetie by Andrea Zool, published by Schwartz and Wade Books. Now, did Sweetie find her people? Yes, she has her Aunt Ruth, and she's found Sandy. And I bet she's going to find more people like we saw on that page with all those other people. So it's pretty awesome to be different, to be yourself. And Sweetie was fine being different in herself all along. But it's even better when you find some other different, other weird people to be friends with. And I hope you find those people in your life, too, because I've certainly found those people in mine. And I love my weird friends. And I love being weird and different, too. I hope you enjoyed the storybook time today. And the next time someone asks you or tells you you're weird, remember what you should say. That's right. You say what Mr. Matt said. They say, you're weird. You say, thank you. Have a great day. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.